Hi everyone. I want to do a live demo on the generative AI features in Adobe Illustrator. We will start with the text to vector feature and then move to the generative recolor. I am using the Adobe Illustrator 2024. And here is the text to vector graphic panel. Uh, we'll use my dog Cannoli as an inspiration for the prompt today. Um, so we'll generate uh, a scene and I'll have the maximum detail um, in the vector graphics. So here is what I want to say in the prompt. A black and white shipu puppy in a pink bubble bath looking at me. So now I'm going to hit generate. I haven't quite figured out how to generate an image of a specific size. The default seems to be a square image like this one. And they always give you a few options. So this one This one, well, this one is kind of cute. So the advantage of having a fully vectorized image is you could, you could manipulate the anchor and the path. Um, for example, I'm not sure if I'm really digging this pink eye look. So I could change this part to not so pink, maybe a little gray, maybe a little pink gray. We'll do this color for the other eye as well. So that is the advantage of having this text to vector feature. You get a customizable image. And if I don't like certain items, I can change it. For example, I could just delete this random bubble. So going back to the size, what I have figured out is I could make a custom sized pattern. Uh, for example, if I change the type to pattern and I have the same prompt, a black and white shipu puppy in a pink bubble bath looking at me, I can use the rectangle feature to generate a specific size. For example, if I want to use this image as my iPhone wallpaper, I could have it in the close to 16 to 9 ratio, and I can fill it up with this pattern. So now I have an image of a very specific size. And in this pattern feature, they gave quite a few options as opposed to just three. Moving on to generative color, and you can find that uh, function under edit, edit colors, generative red color. So here you can see they have quite a few sample prompts. Um, if you click on one, you can change this wallpaper to essentially a preset of the color. And 
you can also change this yourself. Let's say I want romantic pink, romantic and soft pink. And it will just recolor for you. So now you have this wallpaper in pink. I hope you like this short video. Um, if you like it, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.